All right, y'all, we're talking about a land, air, and sea vehicle that you could create that won't break your bank. What I've noticed about players on Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, including myself, I really like simple builds. You know those get up and go type of builds? But normally those builds are created for either air, land, or sea. Well, now we have one vehicle for all terrain. I had first seen this vehicle being used on a YouTube channel by the name of Minty FN. I'm not sure if that person is the original creator, but that's where I seen it. I was immediately intrigued and felt I had to make this vehicle ASAP. So I recorded the process and now I'm here sharing it with you guys. Even if you guys don't find this particular build helpful, some of the techniques that I use to make this build could prove useful for some of your future builds. So I'm gonna show you guys all the steps that I took to make this build. All right, now that we're back at the lab, here's everything we're gonna need to make this vehicle. We're gonna need two fans. We're also gonna need two small wheels. We're gonna need two wheels from Hudson Construction. We're gonna need a stabilizer. We're going to need a control and we're also going to need a stake to help put it all together. All right. Yeah. The first thing we're going to do is take our stake and place it into the ground. And we'll come back to this later. In this next step, we're going to take one of these wheels and we're going to kind of line it up because we want to attach these wheels to each other. So we'll take the second wheel here and we'll put it right behind the first wheel. The bottom lip of the second wheel should be touching the top of the uh, first wheel like this here. In this next step, we'll take one of the small Hudson construction wheels and we want to take advantage of the axle from the Hudson construction wheel. We'll place this right attached to the small wheel. It should be only attached by its axle. Just make sure that you're not attaching the wheel portion to the small wheel. In this next step, you're going to take the fan and we're going to place it on the back side of this whole auto build, but we're going to want to place it more towards the right side of the entire build if we're actually like face forward with the build. So it should look something like this here. Now we're going to take another Hudson construction wheel and attach the wheel portion to the wheel portion of the other Hudson construction wheel that's attached by the axle to the small wheel. So it should look something like this. We're going to want this second wheel to rotate on its axle that's attached to the small wheel. In this next step, we're going to take the whole build. We're going to flip it upside down and we're going to place it on top of the stake because we want the Hudson construction wheels to hang down. Raise the stake up just a little bit so you see the Hudson construction wheels hanging down like so. In this next step, you're going to activate the stabilizer so it can stand upright. And then we're going to take our control and attach it right to the stabilizer, maybe around the midway point. Then we're going to take the stabilizer and the control and we're going to place it on our build upside down. So we're going to have to flip the whole thing around and you're going to want to attach it to the Hudson construction wheel so that we're able to take full advantage of the axle. Hopefully this is all making sense to you guys. And you should have something that looks very similar to this. You might need to make some minor tweaks and adjustments, but you now have a vehicle that works on land, sea, and air. We're down to our very last step. You're going to want to pull the stake out. So this way, when you're making your auto build, you don't have a stake. You see how that back fan serves as sort of like a kickstand for the entire build? That's what we want to see. While I was editing this video, I noticed that I placed the fans the opposite direction. So I want to make that adjustment really quick. We're going to take these fans. They're going to be in the same exact placement, but we just got to flip them the opposite way so that they're facing the opposite direction. This is what will allow our vehicle to hover in the air. So you should see something like this here with the back fan. And we're going to do the same thing on the front fan. If I could just kind of lean that that way. Yeah, and we're just going to flip this front fan the opposite way as well. So it should be something like this. The positioning of your fans should be something like this. And this here is the end result, yeah. And this here is the end result, yeah. You got a vehicle that could operate on land, sea, and air. Our goal here was to create an affordable vehicle that can operate on all terrain, all purpose. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful. If you got a second, drop a like on your way out. I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in and y'all be sure to keep it locked right here at All City 2 for a bunch more Zelda tips, tricks, and walkthroughs. I'll catch you guys on the next video or live stream. Easy y'all.